Hello and welcome back to Maker's Muse. Today I have something really, really exciting. What I have here is a pre-production unit of the Trinus 3D printer that is currently on Kickstarter. On Kickstarter right now, you can pledge for this printer. What I have here is an actual physical unit shipped to me directly from the Trinus team, Kodama. So, let's check it out. How awesome is this? <laughs> Welcome back guys. So yes, as I said, this is a pre-production unit of the Trinus and we're going to be unboxing it and having a first look. This is not going to be a review as such because it's a pre-production unit and I can't expect a pre-production machine, especially a 3D printer, to really be all that perfect and polished out of the box. So this is going to be more of a first look and unboxing for you guys and then in a few weeks time I'll be able to do a really in-depth review. But for now, Let's crack the box open. So here's the box and uh, as you can tell, it kind of looks a bit dinged up. Um, I think it's seen better days, so I hope it's okay inside. It's come all the way from, from Shenzhen. There we go. All right. Get the packaging out of the way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Okay, we have some Poly Plus PLA for Polymaker for testing. Polyflex, flexible materials. So that's one of the things they were saying on the campaign, it can print flexible materials, so awesome for them to include some for testing. Polymax, excellent. Well, here it is, my friends. This is the Trinus by Kodama, and this is the pre-production. This is the first you will see of this machine outside of that campaign, and I, it's a huge privilege and I can't say thank you enough to the, the Kodama team for letting me do this. So we've got a fairly small looking power brick. Put them to one side. An Australian power plug, well thought out because I am in Australia. <laughs> and the box itself, which looks unharmed, thankfully. It's actually really heavy. I mean, wow, okay. It's actually, <laughs> it's actually, Quite heavy, unexpectedly, so I can't actually get hold of it. Oh, there we go. Oh, got him out. All right, so, wow. Um, <laughs> they have sent loads of stuff. All right, so I've cleared some space and I've now just got the Trinus by Kodama, the Trinus 3D printer in its box. Let's check it out. So. Wow, first impressions, amazing packaging. This thing weighs heaps. It is so heavy, it's so strange to try to pick this up because there's a, this is a 3D printer. This is a 3D printer in a box, literally. Here we've got the, the heated bed. So the Trinus uses a heated bed system that's completely self-contained. So you just apply power to it and it will warm up. There is two temperature settings, which I believe are between something like 50 or 80 degrees and it looks very similar in design to the Up Mini bed. Actually very, very similar in design to the Up Mini bed. And also the print volume size, you see there, it's only about 120 uh, and it's not that huge. So think about the Trinus, it's a, it's a well-built machine by the looks of it, but the bed volume's quite small. But again, I worked with an Up Mini for years and had no real issues there. So that's the heated bed option. Don't forget this is a, an upgrade to the pledge limit. It's uh, the machine usually will not come with a heated bed unless you get that upgrade. We've got the power supply. Again, quite a small looking unit. So what's the rating on it? We've got 12 volts, five amps. So that's not much current. That's five amps for a 3D printer is not that much. That's pretty low. We've got some tools, USB cable, the, the power, power adapt, no, yeah, power plug. Extruder assembly, ooh yes, come to me. Oh, wow. So this is the extruder assembly for the Trinus. Sheet metal construction. Nice, it's got this powder coat finish. Uh, uh, that's, that's awesome. That's one thing, it is a sexy looking printer. It is definitely a very sexy looking printer. This is 
would be the power control module. So this is the control board, I believe. Trinus. So it does have onboard storage via SD. And we've got all the power and limit switch plugs. And they're color coded. And that's really cool. <laughs> you can, can't mess that up. You know, if you've got, got color coded inputs. And 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 feet, one gig SD, plate of some kind, and 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 the acrylic print bed. So this is the stock print bed, the non-heated print bed that the machine comes with with the lowest pledge amount. And you can't print ABS on a non-heated bed, really. You, you're gonna be able to print PLA and maybe a few other materials, but you're gonna need the heated bed if you want to do anything with ABS. Lots of stuff in this box. Lots, <laughs> lots of stuff. So what do we have here? I can even get it out. What? Oh, it's the base plate. <sighs> that itself is a solid plate of steel. <laughs> you know, it's a small printer, but Jesus, it's heavy. And that's a good thing. That means it's gonna be really rigid. And here we go, this is the, the Trinus claim to fame the four linear axes, identical axes that are used to run the printer. Wow, wow, and check that out. They have implemented ball bearing supports at the end of the, of the lead screw. There was a big discussion about that when I mentioned it and some people said it was a terrible idea and some people said it was a good idea, but they've done it. So whether or not I was right or wrong, doesn't really matter. Now you know that they've impl implemented it. The interesting thing about the Trinus that differentiates it from other 3D printers I've worked on are the fact that all the axes are the same, but all the axes use lead screws. Normally you'll see Z axes using lead screws, not X and Y. And it's a couple of reasons for and against using lead screws. For reason is it's more rigid and it's more easily able to control precise small movements. The negative is there's more friction and the axes can't move as fast as if they're using belts, timing belts. Going with lead screws means they can get away with this, this sort of uh, identical design on, on all axes, but it means I don't think this printer will run as fast as other printers with belts. But also I believe it might run pretty quiet but we're yet to see that. Um, but just by how rigid this is, I think it's gonna deaden any vibrations really well. And there we go. So these are the axes all out and you can see they are all completely identical. So thank you so much for watching guys. You'll be seeing more of this printer very shortly, but for now, this is a first look at the Trinus 3D printer. And if anything, it's proof that it exists and this campaign has a lot of credibility behind it if the campaign's still going and I have this pre-production unit in my hands. And by pre-production, I mean, this looks like it's pretty much ready to go. I mean, I don't know what else they're gonna change, but not much by the looks of it. The design is super simple and really quite clever. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you wanna see more 3D printing videos on Makers Muse, please don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out quite a lot and also, as, as I always mention now, I do have a Patreon. It's completely, completely optional, but I have a new goal in there to basically slowly ramp up my, my video quality of things that I'm looking to buy. And you know, if you think any of them are worthy and you think you'd like to chip in, by all means, I would love you to. But it, as again, I'm gonna keep doing these videos for free and it's completely, completely up to you. So thanks for watching guys for the third time. I'll see you again very soon here on Maker's Muse. Bye. Thank you.